Residential mortgage loan origination has traditionally been a conservatively managed business with low delinquencies and losses and reasonably stable underwriting standards. In the past few decades, consumer demand has been growing, particularly in high-priced real estate markets for closed-end residential mortgage loan products that allow borrowers to defer repayment of principal and sometimes interest. Before we cover certain characteristics of non-traditional mortgage products, the SAFE Act defines a non-traditional mortgage as any mortgage product other than a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage. Those mortgage products, herein referred to as non-traditional mortgage loans, or also sometimes referred to as exotic mortgages, include such products as interest-only mortgages where a borrower pays no loan principal for the first few years of the loan, and payment option adjustable rate mortgages, or ARMS, where a borrower has flexible payment options with the potential for negative amortization. Non-traditional mortgage products typically provide a lower introductory payment to the borrower. While some institutions have offered non-traditional mortgages for many years with appropriate risk management and sound portfolio performance, the market for these products and the number of institutions offering them has expanded rapidly. Non-traditional mortgage loan products were offered by more mortgage loan originators to a wider spectrum of borrowers who may not otherwise qualify for more traditional mortgage loans and may not fully understand the associated risks. Many of these non-traditional mortgage loans are underwritten with less stringent income and asset verification requirements, or reduced documentation, and are increasingly combined with simultaneous second lien loans. Such risk layering, combined with the broader marketing of non-traditional mortgage loans, exposes mortgage loan originators to increased risk relative to traditional mortgage loans. Given the potential for heightened risk levels, MLOs should carefully consider and appropriately mitigate exposures created by these loans. To manage the risks associated with non-traditional mortgage loans, MLOs should do the following. Ensure that loan terms and underwriting standards are consistent with prudent lending practices, including consideration of a borrower's repayment capacity. Recognize that many non-traditional mortgage loans, particularly when they have risk layering features, are untested in a stressful environment. As evidenced by experienced institutions, these products warrant strong risk management standards, capital levels commensurate with the risk, and an allowance for loan and lease losses that reflects the collectability of the portfolio, and also ensure that consumers have sufficient information to clearly understand loan terms and the associated risks prior to making a product choice. MLOs should use this guidance to ensure that risk management practices adequately address these, these risks. The agencies will carefully scrutinize risk, manage, excuse me, risk management processes, policies, and procedures in this area. MLOs that do not adequately manage these risks will be asked to take remedial action. The focus of this guidance is on the higher risk elements of certain non-traditional mortgage products, not the product type itself. MLOs with sound underwriting, adequate risk management, and acceptable portfolio performance will not be subject to criticism merely for offering such products. When an MLO offers non-traditional mortgage loan products, underwriting standards should address the effect of a substantial payment increase on the borrower's capacity to repay when loan amortization begins. Underwriting standards should also comply with the agency's real estate lending standards, appraisal regulations, and associated guidelines. Central to prudent lending is the internal discipline to maintain sound loan terms and underwriting standards despite competitive pressures. Institutions are strongly cautioned against ceding underwriting standards to two third parties that have different business objectives, risk tolerances, and core competencies. Loan terms should be based on a disciplined analysis of potential exposures and compensating factors to ensure risk levels remain manageable. A good way to look at it is, would you write a check from your personal checking account to the borrower for the loan that is being applied for? If not, then it is possible that the loan should not be made to the borrower. Additionally, payments on non-traditional loans can increase significantly when the loans begin to amortize. Commonly referred to as payment shock, this increase is of a, of a, particularly concern, of a particular concern for the payment option arms, where the borrower makes minimum payments that result in negative amortization. Some institutions manage the potential for excessive negative amortization and payment shock by structuring the initial terms to limit the spread between the introductory interest rate and the fully indexed rate. Nevertheless, an MLO's qualifying standards should recognize the potential impact of payment shock, especially for borrowers with high loan-to-value ratios 
high debt to income ratios, and low credit scores. Recognizing that an institution's underwriting criteria are based on multiple factors, an MLO should consider these factors jointly in the qualification process and may develop a range of reasonable tolerances for each factor. However, the criteria should be based on prudent and appropriate underwriting standards, considering both the borrower's characteristics and the product's attributes. Additionally, MLO should account for the payment shock associated with borrowers paying their own taxes and insurance because no escrow was established at closing.